Okay, so the next thing we want to go over is the, um, the configuration for an individual phone line. Basically, what is this system going to do when an incoming text message or an incoming voice call comes through? Right now, uh, this phone line, training demo line that we just created, is not configured, so the system wouldn't know what to do. So the way you go ahead and go about configuring it, you can either click this configuration button from the dashboard, or on the left-hand navigation under your number configuration, you'll see a list of all your various phone numbers. Of course, there's only one currently uh, on our demo here, but you'd see all of them listed here and you'd be able to see at a glance how their incoming text message or incoming voice messages are configured. And you can also quickly find um, configuration buttons for each one of those different lines, but I've only got one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that configuration button so we can set this line up. And you'll see uh, in this summary that the SMS configuration for this phone number is not configured. Likewise, for the incoming voice calls, it's not configured. And this is the phone line that we're talking about. So let's go ahead and activate an incoming SMS handling. So um, probably the least interesting choice we've got, response type, is the no response type. And so that's when somebody sends a text message to your Twilio line, to this phone number up here, and you want the system to do nothing. Um, you can optionally also have it send you an SMS notification to whatever phone number, actual cell phone number that you monitor, the one that's sitting in your pocket right now, you can put that number right here and you'll get an SMS notification that, hey, someone sent a text message to your Twilio line um, and here's their incoming contact info. Likewise, you can do the same thing if you want to get an email notification. You just type in your own email address here and whenever somebody text messaged this number, you would get a notification at this email that so and such such a number sent you a message. But that actually isn't all that interesting. Let's see what else we got here. The next most interesting one is probably a static response. So a static response is when you have a single message that gets sent to every incoming text message that you receive. So no matter who sends it, no matter what they send to you, they're all going to get the same message back. Sorry, I don't check text messages on this line. Please call me back. So you can type whatever you like in here. Um, I use this one sometimes because I've got a lot of phone numbers that I use only for outgoing message campaign purposes. And so on the off chance that somebody responds to one of my numbers, I want them to know that I'm not monitoring this line for text messages, so please call me back. That's what you'd use a static response for. And similarly, you can optionally enable SMS or email notifications for whenever that happens. And then the third option is probably the one that you're, you're eager to use. It's the auto response. So this is a really powerful tool. The system can actually detect different keywords in the incoming text messages and then respond with corresponding messages. Um, now there's a later video that you'll see where I show you how to set up an auto responder. But uh, for purposes of this video, I've already gone ahead and created two of them so that you can see them populating this list here. Once you choose auto response, you can select from any of the lists that you see here, any of the auto responders you see in this list. So training demo auto responder. You've also got quick keys to, to edit those auto responders should you choose to. And like the other options, uh, you can still send an SMS or email notification to yourself if one of these is triggered. So if somebody sends a text message to this number, uh, the, the text message is going to be handled by this auto responder, the training demo auto responder. And you can see in a later video how I went about setting that up. Okay, so now we're, we're set for incoming text messages. What are we going to do about incoming voice calls? So first of all, I'm going to activate that over here. And we've got a whole bunch of options here. I'll start by showing you uh, an incoming IVR. Now, I haven't created any yet. You'll see those populate in this list once you create some. And I'll have in a later video an explanation of what an IVR is. But typically, it's uh, like if you'd call a bank. You know, hi, you've called, you've reached Chase Bank. Press one to be connected with sales. Press two to be connected with support. Press three for a directory of names, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what an IVR is. It's one of those uh, one, two, three, four options where the user can actually 
uh, choose from a se series of, of options. Um, also, you can have the call go straight to a conference line with an optional uh, piece of introductory audio that you could have in there. But most of the time, what you're probably going to use is the receive calls. So an incoming phone call, a voice call, to this Twilio line right here, the way I've got this screen currently uh, configured, is going to come in. And you're, you see these buttons up top for answer or hang up. Uh, an incoming call will actually ring your browser. You'll hear the, the jingle. And you can press the answer button. And then using your computer's microphone, you could have a, a voice conversation with that incoming call right here in your browser. Or you could decline the call. Um, other options that you can add to that include an introduction audio. So that would be something along the lines of, hi, you've reached Chase Bank. All calls are monitored and recorded for training purposes. So if you wanted a message like that to be played for each and every incoming uh, voice call, that's what you would use introduction audio for. Um, the next option on the list here is call forwarding. So maybe you want it such that whenever anybody makes a voice dial call to, to this Twilio number, you want it to be forwarded on to your actual cell phone, the one that's sitting in your pocket. So you'd put your phone number in here and hit add, and then that call would get forwarded on. Um, now you'll see that you can actually add more than one of these. So I've put two different phone numbers in here, um, which might correspond to employees that I have or sales team people, different agents. So whenever an incoming call is placed to my Twilio number, I want that call to be forwarded to both of these people. Or I could get rid of one, get rid of both that way. Now, interestingly, there's a, a sub option on here for an instant call forward. What that does is it bypasses the jingle, the part where my browser itself starts to ring and I'm giving the option to actually answer the call live right here in my browser. If I were to set this instant call forward, then that would be skipped entirely and the call would get forwarded directly to the one or more numbers listed below. Uh, the next option, call whisper, uh, is only to be used when you are using call forwarding. So I'll put it on there now. And you'll notice if I shut off call forwarding, that call whisper is also deactivated at the same time. Because a prerequisite for using call whisper is that you have to have call forwarding on. But uh, what a call whisper does is it announces to your sales team, to your, your employees, your agents, whatever you want to call them, it announces to them who exactly this incoming call is coming from. So if a user who is already in your contacts, already in your database, if like Mark Twainbot, for instance, if he were to dial your, your Twilio line um, and he would be forwarded on to these two agents, you could specify a text message that uh, incoming call from, and you can use the merge fields, first name, last name, at company name, for instance. So now your two sales agents will get uh, an, a voice um, you know, basically it's like a, an Alexa or Siri, a computer voice that says incoming call from, and then it will fill in these merge fields. It will pronounce it as best it can. Mark Twain bot at company name. So your agents now have a little bit of context. So when they, you know, are then connected with that incoming call, uh, they can course, you know, they can, they can chat with the person a little bit more intelligently. That's what call whisper does. Voicemail message. You're probably familiar with that. That's, uh, sorry, I missed your call right now, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to activate that and show you how that works. You can either upload a file with your audio message on it, or you can use right here in the, the software, you can record something. Hey, sorry, I missed your call. Uh, I am eager to speak, though. So please leave a, a quick message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. So there, you can hear it. Hey, sorry, I missed your call. So that's what voicemail message that they'll hear, the greeting. Um, and then another option, sub-option that's, that's built into the voicemail message is you can send them a courtesy text message, such as the one I've typed here. Thanks for leaving a voicemail. I'll listen to it and respond as soon as I'm free. 
So if someone were to dial your Twilio number and uh, you don't answer, they're going to get forwarded to these two agents. The two agents are not going to hear a call whisper because I have it disabled at the moment, uh, but they are going to hear um, your recorded voicemail greeting. Sorry, I can't answer the phone. And then a couple of seconds later, they're going to get a text message, this courtesy that uh, you'll respond as quick as you can. So that's what voicemail message is. Now, what if you don't have that enabled, um, but you still want to be courteous to your missed callers? And that's what this last option is for, a missed call message. So a missed call message can look something like this. Sorry, I missed your call. I'll get back to you as soon as I'm free. So now if someone were to dial your Twilio number, and you're unable to answer the call, um, we don't have voicemail going, what would happen is when that call um, fails, they're going to get a text message sent to them. Sorry, I missed your call. I'll get back to you as soon as I'm free. So it's basically a way of uh, just being courteous, letting them know that uh, acknowledging that they, you missed their call and that you're going to get back to them. So those are our different options for an incoming call. We can handle it in any of the above ways. Um, I'm just going to leave it as a default right now to receive calls and I'm not going to activate any of these, these options here. For my incoming text messages, you see I'm going to use this autoresponder. And now this number, the training demo line, is set to be used and will accurately handle our incoming text and voice messages.